Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic that is the classical problems of synchronization. So there are three main classical problems in synchronization. One is bounder buffer problem, bounder buffer problem and next is reader, readers and writers problem. and dining philosopher's problem dining philosopher problem so these are the main three problems that may occur while the process is in synchronization so that you call it as a classical problems that may occur when you are the process of synchronizing so this bounded buffer problems and reader writer problems and dining philosopher problems can be solved by using some semo by using the semophores variables that is by using the sum of us technique we can solve these uh, classical problems of synchronization so let us first discuss about this bounder buffer problem so how this bounder buffer problem can be solved by using pro, uh, sum of us variable so let me write that bounded buffer problem So the first classical problem of synchronization. So let us take in the bounded buffer problem. Uh, let me take some n buffers. Let us take n buffers out there. N buffers. Each can hold one item. Each can hold one item. Okay. And next, I am taking the sum of us. Uh, uh, that is the sum of us variable matrix mutex that there is a sum of us value mut, uh, mutex initialized it is initialized to value 1 okay and i am also taking the sum of us another variable full this is initialized to 0 and next i am taking one more variable the sum of our variable sum of us empty this is initialized to n okay so these are the some constraints that you are taking if you want to solve the bounded buffer problem i'm taking n buffers each can hold one item and each buffer uh, can have the sum of us matrix uh, uh, value that is initialized to one and the sum of us full is initialized to zero and the sum of us empty is initialized to n so let me take uh, the producer consumer problem to solve this bounded buffer problem so now i'm taking the structure of producer pro process structure of producer process so what the producer will do the producer will produce the items so whenever he produce all the items then only the consumer will consume those items so how this uh, producer will produce the items in a buffer okay now let us see that so let us take do first the producer an item let first let me write this algorithm after that i'll explain that produce an item in next process so how he is producing i'm taking the sum of us variables to solve this problem empty weight mutex after that i have to add the item to the buffer this so this is the critical section so in the critical section i am adding all the items in the buffer so after adding the items in the buffer i am going i am calling the function signal mutex signal full this process will uh, work whenever this is everything is true so this is the uh, structure of producer process so what this producer is doing here so here the producing first we i have to produce an item in a buffer so what i have to do so suppose if one buffer i am taking so that buffer first it has to be placed in empty uh, wait state 
then only whenever that process whatever it is entering into that if it is if i put that in wait state then only i can add the items to the buffer so other pro, other customer cannot enter into that until that buffer is filled okay so wait empty so starting the empty value is initialized to 1 empty is initialized to 1 so call the function wait so wait wait function is what is the wait function wait of sum of us value that is y sum of us value less than or equal to 0 so this will do no operation then i have to decrement the sum of us value so wait always decrements and signal always increments signal sum of us value means s is equal to s plus 1 so this is the functions of this uh, uh, the code for this functions the sum of us uh, variables functions so wait empty so empty starting it is initialized to 1 so 1 minus 1 you will get 0 and the wait mutex so the mutex value starting it is initialized to 1 so 1 minus 1 you will get 0 so all this uh, the empty and the mutex values are 0 so whenever it is indicating the wait is 0 one item is entered into the critical section so what it is doing it is adding the items to the buffer so whenever it bu the buffer is full okay suppose the buffer is full then i have to make signal mutex so uh, already the mutex value is initialized to 0 means the one becomes 0 so 0 plus 1 now the signal becomes 1 and the full will be initialized to 0 so that is s plus 1 0 plus 1 it becomes 1 so whenever uh, that signal indicates 1 it is saying that i can take another buffer and i make all the items i can fill all the items in that buffer so here one item is uh, one buffer after completion of one buffer it is taking another buffer like that it takes up to n buffers so whenever it complete all the n buffers now the uh, uh, consumer will consume those items let me write that consumer process the structure of consumer process now let us see how the pro consumer will consume the items which was the producer is produce so here do wait full first let me write wait mutex and then now i have to remove an item from buffer in next c next i have to call the signal function signal mutex and signal empty now i have to consume after the critical section is over i have to consume the items in next to see why true so whenever it is true then only this pro statement will execute now let us see here wait full full means the starting it is initialized to 0 so it will be indefinitely uh, rotating so the wait is 0 so now coming to here sorry uh, here the way uh, signal full uh, sorry full now it becomes one because the struct the producer is making that signal full is one so the full indicates one so whenever the uh, buffer is full this indicates the buffer is full so whenever the consumer sees that the wait full is one so wait is one wait full full here it is here full is one so now i have to decrement this to execute the operation i have to decrement the wait so then i can enter into the critical section so whenever the wait is zero uh, that then i can enter into the critical section then no other process will uh, enter into critical section until the wait becomes one wait mutex so that mutex value is also one so decrement that decrement to zero so whenever these are zeros i have to remove an item from the buffer so already this buffer is full so i have to remove an item from the buffer 
okay so after removing the buffer i have to increment the uh, i have to call the signal so to take the another buffer so mutex is 0 so 0 plus 1 you'll get 1 just call the function s is equal to s plus 1 and empty is startingly it should be it is already at 0 so i had to make it is increment to 1 so whenever the signal uh, matrix and empty is 1 it indicating that i have to consume the next item so consume the next item and continue the process until all the buffers are taken so this is what the cons producer and the consumer problem bounded buffer problem so this bounded buffer problem is solved by using this sum of us values await and signal so what is the problem actually so uh, the problem if you didn't use this uh, uh, wait and signal what the problem that you will occur is suppose the producer didn't produce any item the consumer wants to take the item which is not produced by the producer so then what is that the customer didn't get the item because the producer didn't produce that item even though he didn't produce the customer wants to take that item okay he's asking i want that item i want that item but the producer is saying that there is the there is no item in my shop so it may uh, get a problem with the both the producer and the consumer so to avoid that problem we will go for this sum of us variables matrix uh, weight and signal okay thank you